Hello everybody, welcome to the Empress Speaks and I am going to be talking to you a little bit today about um, how does it feel when you are under a spiritual attack? What do you notice? What should you notice? How does it affect you? In what ways can it affect you or harm you? Um, you know, I am currently healing from um, a spiritual attack, and so there were some things that I wasn't quite aware of until I found my soul tribe that was able to help me name some of the things that I was going through or experiencing. I'm going to pause this for a minute because I know I'm going to get interrupted by email notifications, so one second. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about spiritual attacks, what that feels like, um, how to recognize it. Um, there are many, many different symptoms and devices that can be used against you. It just depends on what type of um, magic or witchcraft or whatever you want to call it was thrown at you. For me, uh, what I noticed for a period of years... Um, for almost two years was um, sharp pains, waking up with sharp pains uh, in the back of my head, feeling like I describe it as feeling like somebody was frying an egg on the back of my, uh, on the crown of my head, right in this area. So, uh, in, intense pain. Um, and I was, you know, trying to figure out what it was and thought it was blood pressure issues and and once that was controlled the pains continued um thought it was water deprivation but it just and, and they would these these pains would intensify or almost always occur in the very early morning about three four o'clock in the morning um so for a period of two years that was happening um also forgetfulness, absent-mindedness. I mean, you would be, you could be very sensitive to microaggression, um, which in my case, it was happening on my work, at my workplace. I was working online and I was experiencing things that were going on through Teams meetings. It, it is real. You can sense negative energies being thrown your way. Um, and also a conspiratorial microaggressive attitude, almost like uh, members of your team or co-workers were just ganging up to um, to ganging up to be very microaggressive towards you, uh, pretending like they don't understand the way that you speak or what you are saying, or you're not speaking clearly, or just any little nitpicky thing. Um, and then they began stalking me on my professional um, social media pages like LinkedIn and creating fake accounts, which they do to this day. And that's a big thing because LinkedIn allows you to view someone's account anonymously. And so you don't know really who the person is. You can figure it out with a little bit of wit and detective work. You can halfway figure out who the person is because it may say someone from the higher education industry in Los Angeles, California. And you can kind of, you know, sort through some things and figure it out. But these individuals would be hitting my page at one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, um, every day, or at least every two days, every week, um, things of that nature. Um, you getting excessive amounts of spam emails and calls um, just at, uh, on an onset, just all of a sudden, just excessive spam calls, um, generally from a particular area. From In my case, it was from a particular area on the West Coast. Um, also, you know, um, car accidents freakish car accidents you know I know things happen um, but you know certain things just seem to it'll just it, I guess if you know you know but car accidents random car accidents um, you know feeling 
uh, hopeless, like you're bound to someone or a memory of them or, or connection to them, um, feeling uh, despair, overwhelmed, despite everything going well in your life. Um, also, uh, I was having these waves of warmth every time I would listen to the truth about this situation or if I would be listening to a video and something would resonate with me and instead of getting a chill or a coldness over me I would get see I'm getting spam calls now I would get heat just coming over me starting at the top of my head and kind of um, stopping near my heart chakra and it was very very pronounced and it was just um, a sickening it, it also made me a little bit nauseous um, and, and one of the most pronounced symptoms I had was um, something felt like something was tugging on the inside of my heart like a pulling of my energetic force from my heart chakra like something was tugging at my heart and it would happen in the late in the midnight hours or early in the morning so the what we call the witching hours between 12 and 3 um, so it just felt like something was pulling pulling my life source it was weird it was and it was exhausting because I could feel it and and I would stop and just kind of look at my chest to see if it if what I was experiencing was really real because I would feel it. I was thinking I could see it because it just felt like a gentle tug. Um, additionally, um, there would be dreams, um, sex, sex dreams, dreams that you wouldn't normally have, um, and you barely can recall all of the details. You just know that it was an erotic dream. Uh, that happens frequently so um, and then the one of the last symptoms which was even more pronounced in the tugging on the heart um, was exhaustion sheer exhaustion um, just waking up tired after a good night's rest and being tired in the middle of the day or just at random times just all of your energy wiped out and for those of you who are healing through separation from a twin flame, from betrayal, whatever, you, you know, you understand it. Um, so, but it is, um, it's an overwhelming type of exhaustion. So those are, are, are some of the symptoms of um, spiritual attacks. Um, there could also be um, attack on one's finances where you have losses uh, unexpected losses uh, one after the other additionally um, just a lot of misfortunate events and I know you all say misfortune happens to us all but um, there are times when it's just a period of that you know um, you know, or trying to find a job and, and you're getting denial after denial. Someone may be sending spell work to affect your finances and or uh, status, employment status. Um, feeling unsure of yourself and self-doubt, you know, thoughts that are not really your own when you're overall a very confident type of person, but you start having these thoughts that just you know, don't resonate as being thoughts of yours, but just feel feels as if someone is projecting negative thoughts onto you. So those are some ways that um, you can be impacted by spiritual attacks. I hope this helps some of you. Again, take care of yourself and each other, and I will be uploading a video shortly on ways you can combat um, spiritual attacks.